Okay now, part two of the conversion of the grill to the pellet smoker. So I went and measured some at the store just to make sure I was uh, putting it the right way. So you can see some of my original lines here. I did have it marked too high. I raised it up. I thought I needed to have the seal about an inch all the way around. So I went to the store and measured them. I found out that it sat pretty low to the bottom. So I only came up here a quarter inch, measured up, gave myself clearance. The reality was the ones in the store had about a quarter inch all the way around. So I gave myself, I took the measurement of the square of the box itself. So measurement up and down was top of the bolt to the bottom and then side to side. Took those measurements, I added a quarter inch to give myself a little bit of clearance here. So it does fit, I've already test fitted it works. So a couple things to be aware of. So I don't wanna use the original uh, grease trap, so to speak. So I'm not covering it up, I'm gonna keep it in place just in case. Now I didn't make a modification, now it's made to hold like a small round can. Um, thinking of like a uh, can for like a tomato paste. So instead what I did is I heated it up, I bent it to a hook. And this is actually an old candle holder, it's not very big. But anything happens to go through a hole, that'll catch it. Now I have ordered a new bucket that's about the size of the one they use in the Traegers. I have that for the other end. So what I've done is I've gone in, I've drilled a new hole. About, that's about a half inch diameter. Took a ball peen, turned it around, put the round part on it, took a second ball peen and beat it down to where this does have a lip going out instead of a lip coming in. Other thing I did, as you can see here, this is the vent. Now I closed the vent up, the tab that you use to adjust the vent, I bent flat and bolted it back down tight. So I'm not so worried about it being airtight. And if I am, I may come back and use some of the heavy duty, um, heavy duty silicone that's made for this, for this kind of application. So everything I've done when I've cut, I've come back with a high heat paint, 1200 degree paint to make sure I sealed all the edges so things would not rust later on. So one thing I do have to do is I took the shelf off the side. I will fill in these holes. I'll just probably use bolts to fill them in. Um, most likely stainless steel and I'm or at or, or I am going to move it to the other side so there are places over there for bolts so I can drill the holes out and put it over there and I did make a new shelf I've made it out of treated lumber so that's where we are so far oh one other thing when I went to test fit now this had a bolt this bolt here coming in from the other direction the head of that bolt was too large and it, so the um, the feeder wouldn't actually fit flush. So what I did here, this is actually a, um, a flush setting nut, so to speak. I actually bought the tool for a restoration I'm doing on the pickup. So I was able to thread it backwards. Now I'll, go, I'll come back later. I need to put a high tip silicone in there to hold that in place or uh, use a Loctite or something so it won't move. But I had to get that a lot flatter than what it was. Other options could have been grinding down a bolt head, but I figured that was the best option. So, that's where we are now. I did go back. I did clean up a lot of the rust that was inside of it. There was a little bit. This thing had been outside. Cleaned up the rust on this, the rust on the grates, and I did do curing on the grates as per the instructions. These are cast iron. So, use like a canola oil, which is a uh, higher heat oil, to uh, get those things all uh, ready to go. So, there we are. So, next steps will be marking the holes and then drilling out with the holes on the smoker box and getting it bolted up. I am going to use stainless steel bolts on that as well. So they'll take the heat and hopefully not rust. So there we are for the moment. Oh, other thing I'm going to do. I'm going to put a second set of wheels on this. So when I do that, I'm actually going to mount them a little bit lower on the leg. So this side right here will be higher. By doing that, it will tilt the whole thing so the grease will flow towards the hole over there instead of this one. Now I will show you later once I get everything mounted up how we're going to do a guard for the for the smoker itself and what we're going to use with the guard is the charcoal holder. It's a thick steel. It's actually shaped the curve. It will flip upside down and go in to guard it. So I may have to mount some new bolts from the side just coming through so I can sit on top of the bolts but we can't do that until we actually get this put into the grill so I can see kind of clearance. I may have to cut out the grate, cut a square out of the grate so it fits over this properly. So we'll get there once this is mounted up. 
So once we get in the new parts for it, we'll do a little bit of a um, rebuild on it, and then we'll get everything mounted up. So next video on its way. Cheers.